Welcome back to the New Equity Network show. I'm Michael Yorba, your host, broadcasting to you from the Dallas Business Authority, 1160 KVCE AM. All right, I'm speaking with uh, Armanio Santilli, CEO, Magnine Gas Corporation, and symbol on that is MNGA. All right, uh, Armanio, am I pronouncing your first name correctly? Uh, very close. The name is Hermano. Hermano, pardon the call. <laughs> Thanks no for being problem. a guest on the show. My pleasure. All right, my pleasure. You've worked with some pretty impressive uh, Fortune 500 brands, uh, Club Car, Bobcat, Thermo King. Uh, tell us, give us a little background on you, and I'd love to get right into what your gas company does. Yeah, a little background on me is uh, I um, grew up in Boston in the United States. I uh, went to Boston College, started working for Ingersoll Rand Company. And from then on, I lived in France, Belgium, uh, the UK twice, and then uh, moved back um, to the United States, had my MBA from Indiana, and uh, started working for Magnagas. Okay. Uh, tell us about Magnagas technology. It's different and it's disruptive. Yeah, Magnagas is a fantastic technology. Uh, we base the technology on a patented process, which is called submerged plasma arc gasification. What that means is we take a target liquid and we essentially shoot electricity through that and that electricity breaks everything up and creates a gas. We take the gas, we filter it, we compress it, and then we sell it against the acetylene. Uh, that's one of our business lines. And acetylene is one of the most dangerous industrial gases out there. People have been looking for a replacement for it for, for decades and nothing cuts, uh, up until now, nothing cut as fast as, as acetylene does. But Magnagas does, so we're being we're quite successful in that business sector. I saw the video and uh, yeah. that Shep sent to me, and that was amazing. You, I mean, they shoot a hole through a, a container of settling, and it just blows up, and it keeps you know blowing up, and it, it's heavier than than air, so you don't know if somebody's out there with a a spark or a cigarette or something like that you know, boom, it's off, and you've got a you know a problem, and like we had in the Gulf with yours, they shot a bullet through the container. And it, nothing happened. It just, it, the gas just exited from the container. W w explain that. Yeah, we, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, we just had a press release on that this morning. Oh. Uh, if you go to Magnagas and look under news, you can see that video. It is very dramatic. Uh, acetylene is a, a, has a chemical composition which is unstable. So you, you essentially can't really make it very safe. Um, so physical shock or, or electric shock or, or, or a temperature swing can basically ignite it. Uh, Magda gas is a compressed gas, so um, it has completely different characteristics. And we wanted to do something that was a little different, that would catch people's eyes, that would go a bit viral. So we worked with Operator uh, LLC, which is made from a group of Special Forces guys. And we basically shot 50 caliber incendiary rounds through a, a bottle of propane, I'm sorry, a bottle of acetylene and a bottle of Mandegas. And you see for yourself, it's, it's amazing. Mandegas does it ignite and acetylene burns for about 15 minutes after the initial explosion. Yeah, you're going to save a lot of lives with that. Now, is there a reduction in cost and increase in productivity, uh, productivity by, by switching? Yeah, we, we currently price ourselves... Um, 10 to 20 percent less than acetylene simply to to get in the door but the real savings comes from the productivity uh, we we've, we've worked with one of the, of the largest um, industrial uh, material handling companies and they independently certified that we cut 38 percent faster than acetylene hmm. so large companies that are going through massive operations whether it's uh, the navy or construction companies um, they can save a fantastic amount of, of, of time and money uh, using magna gas yeah, and that's, what, that's why we're continuing to get customers, such as um, the, one of the largest power companies in the United States. We announced today um, one of the largest cement companies in the United States and many, many customers around the, the Tampa Bay area. Wow, that's impressive. It really is. And those cost savings are huge when you're talking the kind of scalability, the kind of companies that you're, you're working with. You have more than, than one product line. Let's, let's walk through those if we can. Yeah, the, excuse me, so the first one is the, the industrial gas one. Right. Um, and we recently purchased an independent gas distributor in the area to be able to, to offer all gases and hard goods to customers. The next product line is uh, an agricultural-based product line um, where we actually take a, a sewage or a manure and we flow it through our arc. So 
Um, the way I look at it is we take nature's best fertilizer and we make it safe again. Because by flowing it through our arc, we kill all the pathogens, E. coli, coliform bacteria, spores, everything. And what we leave is a nutrient-rich uh, stream that then can be safely reused for irrigation or fertilization. So, for example, California, mm -hmm. um, they have less than a, a year's left of water, but they do not have a very good water management process with waste streams, waste liquids. Madagas could be used to transform those waste streams to replace irrigation. There's no reason to use potable water for irrigation in, in, in many areas. So, you know, we, we believe that that and many other countries that, that don't have access to proper sewage treatment um, could benefit from this. One out of every five hospital beds is taken up by somebody who, who has an illness which is waterborne. So there's a huge market, and I've been saying blue is the new black. Water is now becoming more and more important when two decades ago it was all about oil. Water is going to be the next frontier that we have to address from a, a global perspective. Yeah, it's it's already more expensive than than uh, petrol of, of yeah. various forms. But uh, it's amazing, isn't it? It is. It is. So I'm, I'm getting and I, you have more than this at, on the product line. But before we get to the other one, it seems to me you have so many avenues for revenue streams off of the water product, the purification of the water product. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it, it is, and, and it's a slower-moving business line. Um, there's a lot of testing and certifications and verifications that need to be done. But you know, we've certified, we, sorry, we verified that we meet EPA standards to convert liquids into class B, from class B to class A, which means that it can be spread on um, on fields immediately without uh, certain conditions and waiting periods. So. You know, we're knocking them down one by one, and we have a very important test at one of the largest um, swine farms in the United States where we are doing just that. We're taking a problem liquid, which is the, the liquid manure from swines, and we're converting it into a value stream for them. And we're part of a, of, of a puzzle or of a solution, I should say, and, you know, we're actually going up there again. Uh, we hope to go up there again um, sometime in May. Okay, so I'm, I'm on your website, and uh, markets for co-combustion uh, include coal, medical waste, incinera incineration, and heavy oils. Give, give the audience just a, you know, a, a high level, if you will, of the application on these different um, markets that you're, sure. you're working in. Yeah, co-combustion, you could argue, is one of the most exciting things we're doing. Um, why does magna gas cut faster than acetylene? Because right. we're hotter. So, generally speaking, the higher the combustion temperature, the more complete the combustion, the better efficiency, the lower the emissions. What we found, along with our partners in this area, is that when you mix magna gas with a lower flame temperature hydrocarbon fuels such as coal, you get a dramatic increase in efficiency and then a dramatic decrease in emissions. For example, coal, we um, are testing with one of the largest power companies we've been testing for, for, this is the 15th month of the verification phase. And the verification phase is to confirm that we, we transform the smoke from a coal-fired power plant by injecting it with magna gas and recombusting it in a post-combustion chamber with a resulting emission which is better than natural gas and you get a 30% reduction in CO2. Uh, this power company, this independent lab associated with the power company, um, they've told us that we could be the only technology out there that they've seen, they've ever seen, that reduces CO2 and actually saves money. So this is, not a, this is, this is an efficiency play, but it results in an emissions play as well. Wow. All right. Is, uh, let me just give you, we've got about two minutes left in the, in the segment. Anything else on the products? No, other than our, 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 our products are mobile. Um, we, we hosted a UN Water Day recently, and we've had a, a strong focus in the Caribbean from a development perspective um, for a quality of life of, of the Caribbean countries. Um, we're visiting several of the Caribbean countries, and they love the fact that you could drop this, you could build this into a container and drop it in, in, in Jamaica or Haiti, and, and you could instantly um, start cleaning up sewage and making it into uh, our, our manures and making it into a value stream as opposed to dumping it. Wow. 
That is impactful. So on the next segment, let's take a break now. But on the next segment, I want to talk about some of the milestones you've achieved uh, up till now and then where you're going to go with this company. What's going to happen next? OK, excellent. All right. We'll be right back on the other side of this break with uh, Magna Gas on the other side of this break. <laughs> 